So moving on to the part that you've all been waiting for, and that is how to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. Now we get this question a lot, and that is, what is the best exchange? What is the best broker? Who do you use? Now guys, we only work currently with Kraken and Bitrex. Now we will cover a story in the next lesson on Bitrex and how to use it and the interface, etc. However, Kraken is where we do most of the buying and selling for cryptos. Now you can see this is the homepage. Now I will make a video just on the homepage first. And that is because this is extremely confusing for new people. Now, the minute someone goes on Kraken, they are introduced to this homepage and you're filled with so many different options on what to do. And this can be quite intimidating for a first timer. So I'm going to break this down for you very quickly and very simply, and just to give you a bit of an insight on what to do when you first log in. Now, obviously, once you've signed in, which you will be asked to do from the main page, we do not need a video for that. You will be brought here. Now this is the trade page slash overview. Now what you will get is your current holdings of whatever you have. I just have a bit of spare XRP lying around in this account worth about 151 euros. So I did actually forget this was here. So we have euro equivalent. So what this means is how much euro you're actually holding. Not the euro equivalent, but the euro amount you're holding. So with that in mind, you know what you can do with buying and selling, what you want to do with this, so we can move forward. Now, what you'll notice straight away is this. Now, this is, of course, the XRP slash Euro pair. And if I click on this, it gives me every single tradable crypto that Kraken offers. That can be XRP, XMR, XLM, and obviously, more importantly, you have the more popular ones like F, Dash, Bitcoin, BCH, and of course, Bitcoin, Euro and USD and F slash Bitcoin. These being the most free popular. Now, what you can do is if you want to switch this to dollars or GBP, I simply go to XRP, which is what I'm holding. And I click on USD. What this will do once this refreshes is change this to the dollar amount of my XRP holdings. Now, a lot of us actually do work in dollars, so we will leave it like this. Now, let's work around the interface. So of course you have the last high, the last low, you have the 24 hour volume and the weighted average price, which for this current day is around just under 26 cents for XRP. And what you can do is you may notice here, there's this, which is constantly updating. I believe around every 60 seconds, this does refresh itself. However, there we go. Or you can refresh it yourself if you need be after 10 seconds. So what this means is, you have the 0.16 and the 0.26% here. Now that is the current fee you pay for the buy and the fee you pay for the sell on every deal you make on Kraken. Now what happens is once you reach this amount of volume traded in a weekly basis or a monthly basis, it may be now, you will move on to the next bracket of fees, which is slightly cheaper for both the buy and sell. Now what will happen is I have exceeded this several times, but once I've stopped trading constantly and left my investments to hold, this does reduce back down to the daily average. So you do need to keep up this trading volume if you want to get the lower fees. So what will happen now is, you notice this is about to refresh again. I will refresh this myself. If we look here, this has just refreshed as well. So this not only refreshes the currency rates on the side here, where you'll have the most popular currency pairs slash crypto pairs, on Kraken, these will all be refreshing here, but you can also refresh your holdings with the simple click of this one button. So if I press this again, this should refresh. There we go, we've just lost 30 cents. So what you can see is, a lot of the cryptos that I have bought prior do remain here in case I buy them again in the future. So again, it's a nice way if you're holding loads of cryptos, to just kind of check and take a look at your balance and just see what the rate is and see what your current holdings are worth. Now, if you move down, you have trade balances. This would be the current valuation of a trade you are holding. Now, I am not holding a trade, so to speak. I'm holding Ripple. So there is no trade to actually monitor. So what this means is position valuation and trade balances would be on a margin or leveraged trade. So if you were to enter a trade like you would with Forex with margin or leverage, this would show up here with your current value, profit or loss, etc. If we move down, we have the ledger, which is just a simple 100 entry print 
of everything I've been doing in terms of withdrawals, trades and deposits. And you can just have a quick look, you can see what I've been doing, go to the temp page. But I will be moving on to this shortly, so we do not need to worry about this now. So if we move up, you can see a lot of options and I'll be going through each and every one on each lesson. So for example, overview, new order, positions, trade, etc. We'll be covering this in the next lesson. So now, now that you understand the homepage, you can see you have account, you have charts, you have help, should you need help. Again, we will cover this in a separate lesson. One thing I will show you before we go is this. This opens up a chart, a miniature chart of whatever is selected here. Now that would of course be XRP USD for this example. This is a very convenient trading view chart widget. You can take screenshots, you can do all of your analysis from here. Although, if you want to change, for example, Bitcoin, simply change it, select this, and the Bitcoin chart will open. And again, you can change the time frame. You can do your analysis, you can add indicators, the same way you would with any other cryptocurrency pair. So that's it for this lesson. Let's move on to the next lesson and really get you understanding Kraken properly.